Hey, Joey, you probably, I'm, I'm sure you've heard, you've seen all the press releases about Absolutely. Ken Roxon, uh stepping away from racing for the rest of the year. Is this something that you can relate to? I know he's not injured, but he does have a health issue. Can you compare this to something like you had where you have something that's not going to probably allow you to get the results you know you're capable of? And you show up to the races already knowing you're kind of at this disadvantage. Do you think kind of like what you were trying to do with your ACL and what Kenny's going through is like relatable? Or do you think what he's dealing with is something in its own and you, you don't really know how to relate to that? Uh, it's, it's so hard. Um, you know, I, I have obviously gone through health issues myself, so I do know where he's coming from. Um, anytime you line up on the gate, you know, you, 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 strive to be or, or try to be a hundred percent. But as we all know, with such a long super cross series and, and no breaks, you know, nobody is, is ever going to be quote a hundred percent all the time. Mm-hmm. But, you know, for me, I've dealt with my health issues, I think in 2016 outdoor series. And then towards the end of outdoor last year, I, I had some, some stuff that was way off and, and way out of line. So, I've dealt with health issues, but it's been during the outdoor series, which I do feel like is, is probably the worst of the two, just, you know, with the heat, the length of the race, just, just everything. Um, but I mean, you know, I don't know exactly what he's going through, but anytime you're not at hundred percent, you know, it adds up and being in this class right now, it's hard enough to be competitive when you are hundred percent, you know, yeah. and then you take that illness and that illness might not be affecting him that much. Maybe he's only at 90%, but maybe that illness is is messing with his timing just a little bit, you know, and then maybe his body's not operating at hundred percent as far as from the muscle and everything else standpoint, maybe his brain's off a little bit, maybe his reaction time's off a little bit. So, you know, all that stuff adds up. And so from the outside looking in, it's, it's easy to, to be like, Oh, well, well, he doesn't feel good and he's taking the season off, but you know, the truth be told, you never really know, the length of what somebody's going through, especially in our sport. It's, mm-hmm. it's the, sure. the unspoken rule where we, we don't talk about anything. We just, every weekend we show up. Yeah. We're healthy. Best we've ever been. Right. Like yeah. no one likes to go out there and, and say, Hey, like, this is what I'm dealing with. And, um, you know, I, I hope he's, I hope whatever it is, isn't, isn't too bad. And, um, like I said, I haven't, I'm not in his exact situation, but I've been in, in a similar situation with health issues and, and also injury injury issues where you have to try to do what you can. And, you know, it's like I said, it's very hard to be competitive at this level right now. And to try to do that when you're not at a hundred percent is, is pretty much an impossible task. Sure. Yeah. I'm kind of curious to see if he does come back for outdoors. He didn't really say much about that, but if he's dealing with say what he's talked about Epstein bar, um, I've never been through that, but I would imagine he's probably, I would guess, going to take off outdoors because I don't see him wanting to come back while he's struggling with this mental or this health issue during outdoors, which maybe I'm wrong, but I would say probably takes quite a bit more toll on the rider's body as far as from a recovery point or recovery and fatigue as Supercross does. But we'll, we'll see what happens yeah. with him. Time will, time will tell, but you know, like you said, outdoors, I believe out of, out of the two series that we run is – you don't really want to get sick during the outdoor series. You never want to get sick, but with supercross being the shorter period times, um, weather's a little bit cooler, things are a little bit more in the quote ideal zone. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you, you get to a red bud or you get to like, you know, I know we don't go there now, but a WW or, or some of these races work, it's a hundred plus degrees. It's yeah. I mean, you're barking up a tree. That's that you don't want to bark up. Right. 